Hello, Skullgirls fans. This is Shadow Fury 53, along with I am Physics Wiz, and we're gonna be well, continuing my series that I'd done previously with Slice Toast. Shadow Fury right. learns Skullgirls, which also, of course, means everyone learns to an extent, or at least anyone who plays Fortune, because that's kind of the focus here. So we have Physics Wiz, who I've been playing a fair bit already, who is quite a good Fortune player. Though he won't admit it, <laughs> but hey, no. that's humility. You can't, you can't fault humility, really. I, mean, I, I you really can, don't. Be just <laughs> I, don't I don't think I am. I just, I've been playing too long to not know how to play one character. But well, that's not important. Okay. Well, we're about to get this going, so I'll just... So we're just going to start out basically with physics was just trying to figure out... Well, I mean, you know how I play. We, we played before. We were playing a couple days ago. Yep. Right, so, any initial advice? Just throw out there. Things to do with fortune. Pick a team with good colors. Uh, I like my that, Fortune is a super balanced character, so you don't have to worry a ton about how you want to like put her on a team or where. Even though she's better point because you can generate good meter by yourself and still have, have damage. So let's do a basic game just to get an idea, I guess, of each other. I remember this. Oh As, come on! My assist did not come in. That was that was unfortunate. As other people have said, when playing Fortune, you kind of have to just stop caring and right. just sometimes just just throw an overhead, which, as you can see, can be beaten by just jabs and stuff. But it a can. Lot of people, oh, I was hoping I get your head with that one. Of course, now we're on to Fuqua, so that's a bit... I should, maybe I should, if we're going to be focusing on Fortune, I might just want to play Fortune vs. Fortune. Okay. That might be a better idea now that I think about it. That might be more informational than how to play Fortune with Beat Extend. Yeah. Or how to play Fortune in Fuqua, or how to not die as Fuqua. That's not the most relevant in this case. All right, so let's just do focus on fortune. And I will never regret my colors. I I approve your color choice. Thank you. I'm ready. It's a, it's a good it's a good palette. There's one of the reasons I bought the game. I'm not kidding, but it's a bit of a longer story. I I bought the game because I saw it. I was like, oh, what is this game? And then I saw a trailer for Fortune, and I was like, oh, that that looks great. Yeah, I saw a video involving the Color Palace, and it turned out, and I realized that all a bunch of uh, the actresses involved in the Madoka Magica dub were involved in this, and I really enjoyed Madoka Magica, so, yeah. Except for the one for Fortune. Yes, except for the Fortune one. Gary Karanen was not involved in Skullgirls whatsoever, but whatever. Oh, darn, mm -hmm. that usually works. Oh, I cheated. Sorry. Like that combo that I have. I mean, it's, I realize it's a grand loop and really not the best option because I'm, I'm insistent on being head on like that. But, but it is head on has a number of benefits. Yeah, like the wreck is working. I can't remember what it was. It was. I know head off is better damage potential if you know how to use the head itself. But head off just has. Or sorry, head-on just has the Rekkas, it has better mobility options. Apparently it's faster. Uh, yeah, you get a choice of how fast the Rekka is. Uh, your DP will actually have invul invulnerability. Ah, crap. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. The heavy DP is not... invulnerability? I thought that was removed. Uh, okay, that was poor. <laughs> so, You got me with the thing off. I was trying to get you with. Well done, I guess? Right, right. Go with that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Head off, uh, 
you're you lose the invulnerability Oops, or you that. have much less I did not want to change characters on on the DP okay so. I and you just have access to more moves like every heavy punch yeah and I do involve heavy punch in my combos a lot I tend to get messed up if I go head off it's a bit of a mistake I've been trying to get heavy kick more in there but crap it also lets you use the head roll, which is a really good reversal. The head roll? Yeah, like it has a ton of invulnerability. But recently it was changed to have. Uh, which one's? Oh, I can't. Okay, I cannot pull that combo off or pull that super cancel off on Fortune apparently. Huh. Good to know. But yeah, the head roll right now in the beta, it used to have both. Um, Grab invulnerability and. Okay, which one's head roll? Uh, oh, that. Just her throwing her head off? Yeah. That used to have grab and hit invulnerability, oh. now it only has hit. So. It was basically Napalm Pillar, kind of, ah. except not giant, and it staggers. Ah, your head gone away. Oh. That works! What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I did not think. I thought it just hit you, but then it just hit no, you anyway, it, so. The end hit me, but I was invincible during yeah. the super startup. Yeah. That's good to know. So, everyone out there, take notes. When you're doing fortunes. Oh, why can't I remember the names of anything? That's a bad Fairledge. thing for me. I have a bad thing for me. Yeah, Feralite, thank you. Whenever you're doing Fortune Sparrow Ledge, it's invulnerable on startup. And then it does well, not get invulnerable after it keeps going. Most supers are actually invulnerable on yeah, startup. Yeah, just her ground super isn't. Yeah, and it's not a good idea to rely on things like that, or air supers for reversals, because yeah. uh, they have less hit stop. Okay. Ow, nice. Nice reset. Finally well, reset, right? Nice reversal, I should say. Ow. That, look, that, that was... That was a thing. I did not... How did I not follow up on that one? Failed to hit confirm. I don't remember gonna throw me when you do that. Right, heavy has invulnerability. Uh, that I gotta be careful about. Okay, so anything in particular you're noticing that I need to do or not do? I mean, uh, apart from that, that I've been forgetting to block. I'm not great with head off. I mean, head on fortune. Oh, okay. Because I don't play it a lot. Well, is there any but, tips for head off fortune when I accidentally throw my head off or intentionally throw my head off? Because that that's a weakness in my play. I actually don't really know head off fortune very well. Well. It's just, it's not, I would say it's deceptively easy because a lot of people think it's like a, uh, it's a puppet character so you have to just constantly watch it and do things, but really just press heavy punch every once in a while. Uh, I don't know how that head came off. Uh, I might have, I might have beheaded you, I'm not quite sure. But with head on... That standing heavy punch will actually be good for spacing, so like if you're against a peacock and you knock them down, they... I've run into it where they're, they'll think they're at a safe distance and on wake up start throwing bombs or something, and then you can just do that and get them. Also, any tips for air combos? Uh... Oh, darn it. Yes? No. For, uh, fortune is not great in the air. That's really? Play, Everyone's not like recommending tell you that. for me. Sorry. But people like Stuff will say that she has really bad air normals. Oh. And she can't do anything in the air. 
Like, yeah, but people like stuff say a lot of negative things, I've noticed. Yeah, well, that's because he wants his character buffed. Oh. Yeah, because I know she was nerfed. Oh, come on. I shouldn't be focusing on uh, that. She used to be kind of ridiculous. And I've now heard she's as only, much, yeah. Now she's only, like, super above average. That's a wrap. Well, that seems fine to me, but then again, I came in in Encore. So I really don't know what she was like beforehand. Neither does stuff. But... <laughs> oh. He he's pretty new actually, or moderately new it he says, but How did I miss that she part? has gone through some changes. Okay, that was. I keep forgetting frame traps do not exist in this game. Well, that's what I was asking, because I figured she doesn't have great air normal. That's why I wanted to know if there was something I needed to do. Like, some specific thing I needed to do. So, head off, she doesn't have great air normals. Her good air normals are, if I were to say, they'd be jumping heavy kick, jumping heavy punch, and jumping light kick. Ah. But both the heavy ones are super slow. Uh oh. Oh, wow, I actually grabbed you with that. I think I was pressing the button. Confirm about that. One thing that I like to use with Fortune oh, is man. as many air dash cancels as possible. So yeah, just like yeah. doing a normal and then doing air dash and then doing the normal again. I've tried to learn that, but it's just a matter of getting. I keep, I keep. The thing is that you can actually air dash cancel before the heavy punch comes out. One more time. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that timing right, so you throw the heavy punch and then air dash afterwards, I find very difficult to get right. Well, I use a dash macro. Oh, no, I, I only I think... oh, I see, yeah, right. But I meant so it's even with a dash pretty macro. Pretty easy for me, at least. Are you on pad or stick? I'm on pad. Oh, okay, because I'm on stick. Ah, nice. Oh, I was trying to grab you. Oh really? Because I was going for the throw reset. Oh nope. wait, I can't make I can't pull that off with a headless fortune. I need to hit your head for that to work. I forgot. Ow. Like one of the things a lot of fortune players do with Feral Edge is they do the uh the sneeze after that, mm -hmm. but that's not entirely ideal if you're a head-off player because then, or head-on player that is, yeah, because then your, head. your head's off, and you either do what you do to get the head back on, which is not super great. Your options are either stand around and wait for the head to come to you, or level three. Ah. I really could get better on my Zeds. Keep messing those off. I wow, I had two chances of reverse slot there, and I did not get either of them because I'm Zed. I can't help too much with the Dragon Punch motions. Uh, just saying, the way I do it is forward, then down, forward, then forward. Yeah, I know. It's just a matter of practicing it. I've been practicing it. It's just... The high pressure situation immediate Wow, actually I guess that works. Anyway, sort of. Not really. Nope! Oh. oh right, I keep forgetting you're gonna throw me after that. Gotta remember that one. If there's one thing I'm gonna learn tonight, it's not get thrown after putting myself in a really vulnerable position against you. One one problem with headless is that sometimes if you do feral edge or some other things, you'll just Get a cool, fun little reset, and people will be able to block, which is not optimal. Well, that's not what I wanted. Where's my head? Now, you think playing with a stick would make head off easier? Nope. Ugh. 
Did not get it in a time. Like so. That's how you do it. Now let's get my head back. For what it's worth. Which isn't much. Of course, I have pad light on so everyone on the stream can see what I'm trying to do and how I'm failing at what I'm trying to do. I mean, maybe someone will comment about, hey, you're doing this when you're trying to do your dragon punch. Which is probably going to be just forward, down, forward, since I seem to mess up the down part. Ladies and gentlemen, it's One thing I think Chaos said, uh, uh Chaos Muffins, yep. he said that, like, if you're playing head off and you can't see the head, then it's on the other side of the screen. So, like, it's always at the edge of the screen and never goes farther than oh, the edge. Okay. So, in a lot of circumstances, you can just, like, which side was it on last, and then just remember that. That works. <laughs> yep. One thing that can be said for like defending against fortune is that basically if you just push block and be patient, she, there's not a lot she can do. Okay, that's probably bad on me to just remember all the damage killing. <sighs> yeah, if there's anything you're noticing in my play that I'm doing that I should be changing up or fixing, let me know. Well, I mean, a lot of fortune players are constantly in the air because the ground is lava, and that's just how we play the game. Ah, but as a general skullgirls thing or what? I, I'd say it's a general skullgirls okay. thing, but there's still a lot of players that don't do that, just because one, it's not a great idea because you'll, always, if you're always holding that back, then people start doing lows. Well, that's what I've generally learned. Like I. I'm the opposite. I tend to be on the ground a lot just because I find that going in the air makes me quite vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Like, I find the level of vulnerability in air is somewhere between Street Fighter and Melty Blood. Now, you can get in the air mm -hmm. and block, but I find that you just don't have as much potential in the air I'm as you would in, say, Guilty Gear. So you're not, you're not staying in the air very long, and your opponent has a lot of options for anti-air getting back. Or a decent amount of options, enough that they can punish you pretty reliably. So what happened there is that uh, the head spike, yep. just like how when head roll, when you do head roll on the ground, it's a kind of hit, it'll stagger. Yep. If you do it in the air and it's kind of hit, it'll do this gigantic bounce. But that's generally harder to accomplish. <laughs> Our heads are fighting, and so are we. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's, yeah, that's where Heavy Punch would have been really handy in here. JHP, where are you? Nope. There we go, we got my head back. Ah, gotta stop losing my head. One, one thing about Headless that some people might not know is that, um, if you hit the head, it'll reset the cooldown. Yeah, that's right. If you hit the head, it resets the cooldown. If your opponent hits the head, then the cooldown is lengthened, I believe. Yeah. So, what a lot of players will do, especially people like Big Band, they'll just, when you're head off and incoming, they'll just keep hitting it. And then when, by the time you get oh, in, that will... Just... It puts you in a super awkward situation, because you, you basically have to go in. Good counter. I'd say, I'd say like one thing that you haven't been doing a ton is the overhead. Oh, you mean the overhead part of the Rekka? Yeah. I always find that people read that out. Except when they don't, uh, but usually people do. Maybe I just like only acknowledge the times when it hits. Ah. Uh, because that seems like a very me thing to do. But... It's... It, there's a reason people refer to it as the unblockable. Okay, because I just get... I get it blocked all the time whenever I try to use it. Uh... Oh, darn it. Why is he trying to go for frame traps? 
Especially because... if, not, if I'm gonna do that, why am I not going for the fiber? <laughs> That'd be the obvious yeah. choice. If I miss, I reset to neutral. Mm -hmm. Good thing to do. One more time. Time to pull myself together. So if anyone in the stream has any questions or comments, feel free to comment and mention stuff as you're watching. Although admittedly, I'd... Oh, they're probably going to be pretty nice comments. They usually are. Oh, come on. Oh. One of the things about the Rekka is that if you're already blocking the regular one, there's not really any reason to block I, because the overhead is just slow enough that yeah, that's what I mean, it's reactable. It's yeah. Is there any reason to not go for heavy? Uh, I don't the know. Like yeah, if you're already hitting them, I don't think so. Okay. Darn it! That was supposed to be a Z. Wrong direction on the input. Can anybody stop this fighting machine? Hmm. One more time. Yeah, I think you're starting to understand how I play. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Yep. No. Ah, why did I go for the attack? Darn it, must not get hit. Skullgirl's meta. I must follow the Skullgirl's meta. Oh darn it, that was supposed to... There we go. Well, more so. I just tried to alpha counter into nothing. I... Because you have no assist, because you don't normally play on one. Yeah. Oh, I thought the head would save me. Nope. There, there are a lot of situations in when, which, uh... When you throw out the head, it'll just interrupt a super or whatever they're trying to do. Ah, good to know. Time. Looks like I found a new scratching post. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Uh, I think it doesn't work as a cross. -up. Good to know. So it seems like. Oh darn it! Why did I do that again? Combo so ingrained in me. I can understand that. Nope. Not gonna work. I definitely did not want to run into the last part. Darn it, I keep doing that. I get hits, so it's a hit, right? No, no, it's not! Well, at least it does actually. It does offer as a mix-up that high, that high Rekka. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have worked in that case, but at least it does operate as a high mix-up because it makes it think I'm attacking high, and then all of a sudden I attack low. Why am I mashing? That was poor. Uh, well, actually, that would have saved my life. Nope, I should have mashed. Oh well. I think. It's not easy to convert off of an air throw with a uh, head-on. I think there are some things you can do, but only when you're close to the ground. Yeah, I know you can do it. Like, heavy kick, I think, can convert off of it. You're right next to the ground. Come on, I've got a something hidden. I'll, I'll keep messing that up. 
Like, I have to confirm off that heavy punch, and I keep forgetting to actually do it. Nope. Oh. There we go. Something. Chipped out. Ah. Chipped out. Nope. Why am I blocking low? You're in the air. I'm not really blocking low, I'm just hitting. I'm trying to hit your head for some bizarre reason. I'm not sure where that burst is safe. It looked like... Nope. I know you throw, I know you throw. Why must I forget that you throw all the time? I... I never take. I never tech. Like... I have, I have really bad reflexes when it comes to attacking throws. Mm. So that's why it's great to hold that back. Okay, unfortunately we're doing in that case. Uh. Darn it, come on, I gotta do something up here. Oh no, that was a burst bait. Hey, it was safe! I'm not sure what that's safe. That's weird. I delayed it, maybe? I know I delayed it. I don't know if that was it. Well, as far as I know, the only thing that makes the burst safe is that if the burst comes into contact with something. Then I have no idea. Hmm. $15. Oh. I didn't realize you could stop blocking it halfway through. Yeah, that was a little weird. There we go, gotta convert. And because my head is in the corner with me, I take a much larger amount of damage. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons why I don't play head- well, actually, I don't play head off for a lot of reasons, but... One of them being that, yeah, you can get hit. And if you ever play against big band, it's never a good idea to have your head off. I mean, unless you enjoy losing, naturally. Yeah. But I don't think really you have... do. Well, there's some merit in... Losing, but nope, like, that didn't work. In general, I tried. The, you, against Big Band with as Fortune, you have an advantage in that you can just grab him out of everything with Nom. But that's if you're head off. Yeah, if your head's you behind can, Big Band, that's the thing. If you're behind Big Band, otherwise Big Band just SSJ's you to death. Yeah, that it's not great. Like there are times when it can come in handy, like he'll get. Is SSJ will get, just get stuck on the head and then you'll be safe. Which happens with a lot of things when you're head off, like Crystal Spikes. <sighs> now I realize the annoying thing about fighting Headless Fortune is that. And why you go in the air. Is that way your head's invisible? <laughs> yeah. That, that is definitely an upgrade to always jumping. Or a benefit, I should say. Yeah, I'm not used to headless, so that might be a bad idea. <sighs> oh, I'm actually doing stuff-ish. Nope, that was good. That was a bad time for Berserker Barrage. It was a good time for Fifth of Dismember. Wow. Oh, I got killed by the head. Yep. The head counts as a special every time, so actually I think it will chip you to death. Yeah. That's a good thing to keep in mind, I suppose. Ow, oh, damn it. Give me my head back! There we go, finally got you back, although I'm, I am totally dead now. Yep. Especially since I screwed up yet another fiber upper. So that's the thing to keep note of, is make sure to practice my fiber uppers. I personally try not to rely on fiber upper too much because I play headless. Right. And I don't get a lot of vulnerability. But I do. Yeah. Like that. Darn it. Okay, that was a mistake. Just went the wrong direction on that down to forward. Oh, 
Ow, oh, darn it. I almost got the reset up. Too. I, just, I don't know why I keep having trouble actually confirming that particular heavy punch into this. Ah, uh, that was a perfect time for a throw. Oh, that I didn't start my fighting game career essentially with Guilty Gear and just be terrible at throws. We'll start with Jam because she has a forward heavy punch command move, so learning to do throws is doubly hard. Uh. Yeah, because forward heavy punch is throw, or sorry, forward hard slash is throw. She has a forward hard slash command special, so it's like, good luck throwing if you're not hitting the forward at the same time. I've only played a very small amount of Guilty Gear. Yeah. No, no, I was just at a convention or the, in the video game area. Oh, okay. Darn it, I thought I was going to get Paralogy on that one. Don't lose your head over this. Hmm. Player one wins. So, anything you noticed that I should probably think about looking into? Curiosity can Changing my play. Maybe. Maybe I'm screwing up. I'd recommend playing Headless, but that's just because I play Headless. And I yeah. I personally just like the ability to be able to sweep her overhead whenever I want. Yeah, that I suppose that's kind of nice. As I can't, I don't really have a sweep, do I? Outside of after I do a reco, which is pretty risky. Yeah. That's the other thing, is that? Oh. Ah. Nope. Oh darn it, I gotta remember you to throw after that every time. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Nope. I I did my throw input! I remember that time! I don't know what I did wrong there. Maybe you can't take it? I'm not I don't know. I'm okay. not sure. There we go. There we go. Oh. Nope. I would Wait, recommend. Do you have a follow up in headless mode? When you throw. As what? When you throw. Ground throw. Oh, yeah. You can. Uh, oh, in headless? You yeah. can just zoom. All right. Of course. Or if you're in the corner. You That's a stupid can, question. You if you're playing headless, do you have a follow up zoom? Are you doing anything? Zoom. Are you not doing anything? Zoom. zoom. Zoom is what you do when you don't do anything, and even when you do do things. What about when you don't zoom? You zoom. Let's see if you're right. And you don't sneeze. Sneezing is for nerds. I could see it working out if you're right at the end of their life. Yeah. Like if that combo with the sneeze would win the game. Oh, what the? That was. Once again, wrong direction. That's, that's just how silly that move is. But now you can be grabbed out of it. At least, well, at least I have a zoom that I can make. Oh, right. You hit. You did technically hit me. Nope. All oh, right. You can't block while you're using your head, can you? What do you mean? Like, oh, when using a head, like it counts as an attack, right? So it doesn't let you block. Yeah, I think so. Nope. Well, it sort of hit. Can I have a head back on? Thank you. There we go. Oh, right, that's invincible. Okay, that's what happened. So it wouldn't matter what I did when I threw my head off earlier in the match. Mm-hmm. Because I was still not going to hit you. But at least a right. Rekka would have been easier to recover from. Maybe. Alright, so... Any closing thoughts? Because I think we're going to wrap this up. Uh... Fortune's probably one of the most viable characters by herself. If you play head-off. She's still pretty viable head-on. Because you, one, you get... 
you have that ridiculous head on, or both head on and solo damage. And yeah, I'm just messing up my blocks into reversals. I mean, you do have the initiative on advantage on me. Like that's that's just a thing. Mm -hmm. Darn it. Not really doing much. Nope. There we go. Nope. I was expecting a throw there. I was trying to do a throw myself there. That did not work. Right, you always throw. Oh, by the way, small tip, when you're throwing, you can do her Rekka reliably, head-on, and it'll fall yeah. off. I just forget because I don't play head-on. Ah, so it does work head-on. Good. Darn it. Did not want to go for the Rekka I, at the end there. I would recommend using tick throws, but... I don't know if that's effective, unfortunately, because a lot of her normals move her backwards. Yeah... I, I don't know. She combos fairly well off her normals anyway, mm -hmm. so I don't really think that's much of a concern. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking something to consider with some of Fugua's heavier, but... No, uh, Fortune has a lot of things you can do off the normals anyway. Like that. Oh, darn it. Assuming I don't screw up. Darn it. Ah, I was trying to do that counter the counter for a ledge initially, and that did not work out for me. What am I trying to do? That's a bad question to ask myself. If I have to ask myself a question, I'm doing something terribly wrong. There we go. Oh, the damage. Ah. Oh. Ow, darn it. I didn't get a throw reversal off. Take three. Let's rock. Nope. Gotta block that. On the way down. Ow. That's one thing a lot of fortune players do, or at least ones that are like focus on mix-ups and stuff, is that they uh, use their air- oh wow, use their air dash just to make things more confusing. Right. Ah! Yes! Uh. Finish the win! Well, it's 19 to 3, so it's not exactly like it's <laughs> great for me, but okay. I think I learned something. Yeah. Mainly well, I... that, well, technicality stuff, like the invincibility is still there in the uppercut. Mm -hmm. And... Well, a lot of stuff about head off, Fortune. And also that you can't combo do my standard special combo into head off Fortune. Because your That's head's not weird. in the way. Yeah. But she should... She does have the same head box without her head. Really? Because for Circuit Barrage, it does not work for headless. It works for head-on. I'm not sure what that would be. I but don't know. Maybe we're in training mode. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thanks for joining me. That was that was really nice to have someone on the show again and do it again. So, thanks everyone for watching. That'll be it for me and us tonight. I hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something, because I know I did, though I'm having difficulty articulating it at the moment, but I had learned something. At the very least, I learned more just from experience. So, I hope you enjoyed that. That'll be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.